Last year, 80,000 men and women submitted their applications to be the next American Ninja Warrior. And out of those 80,000, about 700 made the cut to be on the show. Well, this year it's just as difficult to make that cut, but one Abilene firefighter did and will be featured on American Ninja Warrior. KBC's Kelsey Pittman hits the gym with him as he prepares for the competition. Shane Hot was in the hospital with his son and all day they watched one show, American Ninja Warrior, and that hospital is where he got the idea. Do you want to be an American Ninja Warrior? And so I went online and I filled out the application and next thing I know, I'm getting an email asking to send in a video. So I send in a video and then next thing I'm getting a call and I'm on the show. Using his family and friends to help train in new ways. There's no gyms here in Abilene that are like specifically for this, so you just have to be creative. Because no obstacle stands in the way of Shane, jumping into new ways to spread awareness for cystic fibrosis for his three sons who have the disease. We're sitting here looking at our, you know, perfectly healthy, in our mind, one month old, and being told that our son has a disease that we don't even know what it is. His brother Hunter, <laughs> they're mentally and physically to help him succeed because family is what it's all about. The biggest thing is getting to spread awareness for you know this cause because the cause has a lot of momentum right now. There's a lot of money behind it and it's growing and they're actually making breakthroughs in research. Hoping to make it all the way to the red buzzer. My oldest son, he's five years old, he uh, when we told him it just it really kind of made it even more real how excited he was so that'll be a really exciting thing for me to be able to be on the course and look to the sideline and see him and how excited he is. All for the hot heroes. In my mind they're heroes with dealing with what they have to do on a daily basis fighting against this disease and doing all these treatments and taking these medications and uh, just the difficulties that they face on a daily basis. In Abilene, Kelsey Pittman, KRBC, Abilene's Local News. All right, thank you, Kelsey. And Hot competes April 12th in Oklahoma City.